Welcome back gamers, I am Danny from the Nintendo K channel. Today is finally the day to unveil the new Nintendo K game room. It is my ultimate three part series of this entire video that you're gonna have to say to the very end. It is three part, three rooms uh, that made the entire game room. It's gonna be very epic, last things to show. And as you're watching, leave me down below in the comments of the things that you enjoy seeing that you, 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 know, you have any opinions on. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So it's gonna be really large. And then check it out in the next clip. to welcome everyone to the very first room of the entire Nintendo K game room. This is where we have fun in a big area and let's check it out. As you walk into Nintendo K domain, this is where I keep all my first four figure. At its centerpiece is this majestic link on loft wing. On display is my Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Mass Arts Collection starting with Zant, Wolf Link and Midna, Link on Epona, Princess Zelda, Ganon's Puppet Zelda, Ganondorf, Samus Light Suit Exclusive Edition, Tanuki Mario Exclusive Edition, Arwing Exclusive Edition, Sword Kirby Exclusive Edition, and the Amaterasu Exclusive Edition from Okami. Right besides my figures, I have this breathtaking 30 by 60 canvas of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on display. It is truly amazing. Best thing about Nintendo K Domain is a 75 inch 4K display where I can game at its full glory and blast it with the home theater system. Really gets to get sound out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this very first room of the new Nintendo K game room. But before we begin the next round, we're going to show you a span of the entire room in its full glory. I'd like to welcome you to the second room of Nintendo K Game Room. This is Nintendo K Central where everything happens on the YouTube channel. Let's check it out. So in Nintendo K Central, this is where all the magic happens in the Nintendo K channel. Uh, this is where I do the editing, also the live stream with Evelyn. So if you guys haven't checked out our live streams, we do it on a daily basis. So do check that out when we do so. And this is where of the sound recording, this is considered as the office. I'm going to show you guys around in a pan. You get an idea of what I go through with the equipment that I have to produce the videos on the channel. So part of Nintendo K Central, I have this laptop here that I grab on the go if I need to do work. And with the side here, I have a really cool Tetris lamp that I can customize it. Plain Tetris, it lit up the room. On top, I have this awesome poster of the history timeline of the Star Fox franchise released from back in 1993 all the way to 2016 with Star Fox Zero for Nintendo Wii U. Moving towards the left, we are greeted to some of the equipment, the audio uh, recording material that I use to do the recording of uh, high quality sounds. And to decorate it off, I have these danglers of Gashapon that I grabbed with Evelyn back when I was trip in Japan. And really cool, I have a Mario, Zelda, and Splatoon theme there just for brighten up the mood as I make these episodes. And to top it off, we have this really awesome manga insert a poster of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, that was given at the Nintendo New York store during the release of the book. And here we have some of the office equipment of a printer, a fan to cool me off, and this is where all the major work of video editing, sound production is done at my station. One of the coolest features of the Nintendo K Central is these awesome canvas from the Super Mario Bros. franchise that's smiling at you as I'm doing the editing. And we're moving towards the Nintendo K game room. This is where all the fun begins and really happens here. So let's go inside. So gamers, I'd like to welcome everyone to Nintendo K Prime. This is where I store my entire Nintendo collection for over the years I've gathered. It's going to be a blast, so let's check out inside.
The first thing that I want to show you guys about the Nintendo K game room is this brand new Mario Bros. arcade cabinet. And this is a reproduction of the original one back in the early uh, history of Nintendo's arcade history. Uh, this allows me to play classes like, obviously you see here is Mario Bros. Also various classes I can play like Donkey Kong and so and so forth. It's a really great piece that I'm very happy to have that I can play all of uh, Nintendo's great arcade classics. Moving from arcades now to Nintendo's foray into consoles and this is where I began my Nintendo Entertainment System and my video game history in general. Uh, this system has given me such fond memories starting with the Super Mario Bros playing back in the old days and uh, if you see the Nintendo Action Set is the actual system box that I grew up with and that's what I had when I was a child and everything you see here is a complete in box and mint condition that I, I was very proud to see that as a grown up that I, you know, I can see it very taken care of. And moving on to the Super Nintendo, which is one of the best systems in history that I played with the enhanced graphics from the NES. It took it to a next generation, great stuff. And uh, now moving to Nintendo 64, where it, Nintendo is right into 3D. And I remember playing at Toys R Us with the Super Mario 64, awesome stuff that I can't fathom enough. And going into the Virtual Boy, the Virtual Boy is a failed system for Nintendo, but it does not mean it's a bad system. I love it and I still remember to this day. Just talking about the systems I have so far, the games is where the fun is at. And this is where I keep all my portable games from my entire collection, ranging from everything from the retro all the way to the modern. Now I have here are some of the Game Boy games that I had collecting over the years. Um, systems from the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance and classics that I play that I enjoy all obviously the Mario titles Donkey Kong, Metroid, uh, Zelda and uh, going further down is the Nintendo DS line of games and a great system to collect for that I have great fond memories like Contra, Chrono Trigger and moving towards the more modern is the Nintendo 3DS this is where I have the most games from my portable library and the titles just are countless of terms of quality. Um, it's just a tremendous system to collect for. Um, moving towards the further end of the collection here is my limited editions such as uh, Animal Crossing, Master Hunter, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Chibi Robo, Poochie and Yoshi, Yoshi's Woolly World, and of course another variation of the Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. Now moving away from the handhelds onto the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. This is the system that brought me into video games and I do remember finally playing my father. So many of the classics that I played with him, that's such as the Super Mario Bros. franchise and favorite games that I play like myself is the Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. Uh, single player games like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is truly remarkable. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and of course The Legend of Zelda and The Adventure of Link is one of the famous games for the system itself that is truly timeless to play. Now moving down the shelves, we're on to the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo is a truly remarkable system that is totally timeless that I can just play any time of the day, even to this very modern day. The games are just fantastic. Games such as the Donkey Kong Trilogy, Final Fantasy 3, uh, Turtles in Time, Star Fox, Castlevania 4, Super Metroid, just endless titles that just go on and on that I can speak about that is just a fantastic game that anyone can play. Now moving towards the from 16 to 64 bit era that is a Nintendo 64 and I do remember very fondly playing with my friends of all the multiplayer games that you can just put in and pick up and play with your friends like the Mario Party franchise, uh, Mario Kart 64, F-Zero X, uh, GoldenEye 007, Star Fox 64, and Timeless Classic The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time really define the system in its history. Now going towards the latter half of Nintendo 64, I have these promotional items that I received back when the Nintendo Power magazines that they provided such as uh, Diddy Kong Racing, even a promotional video about the Nintendo 64 was uh, available and there were the hilarious Star Fox 64 as well, Keep great stuff. Um, going towards the lower half, that is these loose carts of the black box games for the NES. Uh, great titles that start off the NES library that I can just pull out the collection and start playing anytime. Uh, going towards the bottom now is now is the manga of the Legend of Zelda where I can 
just uh, just one day just start grabbing it and just read the uh, story about the Legend of Zelda itself and have some mementos of Pac-Man. When you talk about video games, you cannot forget about this great soundtrack of music that contained therein. Uh, great music stands from the 8-bit era all the way to the modern day. Classics like Chrono Trigger, Mario, Zelda, Splatoon, Splatoon 2 that's coming out that I'm really excited for, uh, Mario Galaxy, The Legend of Zelda that just have great music that just rings to my ears to this day and moving toward the right you can see a uh, little mementos of uh, Moogle and Chocobo and Vincent Valentine from the Final Fantasy series that I really appreciate that I have it here. Now moving on to the second part of the Nintendo K game room is in focus is the Nintendo GameCube, a very great system that I remember being online for the very first time, trying to get the system on launch, a system with many great titles, very hidden gems, and a system that we really unappreciated. The Nintendo Wii brings motion control into the fold, a system that everyone can just gather up and play, easy to pick up with great titles such as Wii Sports, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario Galaxy, just to name a few. One of the biggest collection in my library is the Nintendo GameCube, filling with over 100 games that I'm proud to say that I've collected over the years, even to this very day that I'm still adding titles to the collection. Great titles that I can always have fun with is the Mario Party 4 through 7, the Mega Man X collection, uh, the Metroid Prime trilogy, the first time that Metroid got into the first person adventure genre, uh, great classics at arcades like Namco Museum, uh, Resident Evil, uh, also, Pikmin is in the works here, and going down forward is the, uh, the Star Wars Rebel Strike, Rogue Leader, um, Monkey Ball is always a fun game to play. Going towards the bottom is the Legend of Zelda, full of them, Wind Waker, Twi uh, Twilight Princess, is all there represented in Nintendo GameCube library. Moving on to the Nintendo Wii, its successor of Nintendo GameCube, it does have very great titles for the system, it is the first system in history that has both control with great titles such as Mario Party 8 and 9, the Metal Slug Anthology is a great addition, the Metro Prime Trilogy, very memorable, the Pikmin 1 and 2 from the GameCube can also be enjoyed with motion control for the very first time with the Wii. Um, great additions to the collection is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, one of the best games for the library and of course the uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 cannot be mentioned any further, it's a great great game. Moving down the bottom, one of the bigger box limited edition such as the Super Mario All-Stars limited edition, also the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword limited edition bundle with the golden controller that I really, really enjoy having in the collection. Moving toward the bottom are some of the more promo items such as a Mario playing card from Club Nintendo, a carrying case with Nintendo 3DS XL, a, a watch from the Nintendo 64 era, a treasure chest from the Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds, and a Rubik's Cube for the third anniversary of Mario. One of my most proud pieces of the collection are these Pepsi Twist bottle caps representing the Super Mario Bros. franchise that was imported from Japan. Seeing Mario in action really reminds me of the classic Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo Entertainment System um, and it's a very, very fun game that I still play to this day that brought me into video games and you can see here some of the representations of the enemies that we all know grew in love just such as Goomba, Cheap Cheap, uh, the blooper and also the hammer brothers just to name a few this is the first issue of Nintendo Power released in back in 1988 that I can probably say I was one of those kids back in the early 80s and 90s getting our news from these official Nintendo magazines that internet did not exist and unfortunately the media magazine ended off in 2012 in December with the Super Mario Bros U issue very sad moment but I cherish that I have the full collection of Nintendo Power in my Nintendo Kid game room one of the biggest part of my collection, moving away from video games itself, is the Amiibo collection. Now, I remember a couple years back, Nintendo announcing their first Amiibos, and I had to get my hands on them. I never knew that would gather up to over 125, and I can say proudly that I have all the Amiibos uh, as of date of this video recording. And you can see we have some of the original first wave from the Super Smash Bros. series ranging from Ferret to mine, this Mario, Link, Metroid, Mega Man, Rosalina and Luma, 
a Fire Emblem character is always fun to play with, uh, Charizard, and of course Roy, the Rob, the robot, the Japanese version included, looks really cool with its red look. Um, the new Breath of the Wild figures as well. Very great Guardian, that really takes the cake for me. Splatoon, the Amiibos for the Super Mario Bros. series, Kirby, and ending off is the Animal Crossing. Great, great characters from the franchise. Every time you walk into the Nintendo K game room, you agree to the, this Nintendo sign. On the right, you'll also see from this the new display, the fantastic cell art from The Legend of Zelda, exclusive from the Nintendo New York store that I was probably able to get, uh, ranging from different tiles such as Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, just to name a few. And on to your right, you see this fantastic life-size store display of Inkling Girl showing her stuff in glorious form. Now, moving across from the game room, we are at the Nintendo Wii U area where I um, have a great time with the system, a fond memories of it, playing with Evelyn and friends. And of course, I have to have the accessories with various characters that I truly love from the Mario Bros. franchise. And one of my favorite pieces of the Wii collection is the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Wii U bundle. And you can see it has a very fantastic look on the controller gamepad. And of course, now moving to the current system, is the Nintendo Switch with the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild fantastic game that I cannot seem to stress enough that it's a must play game of the year and of course can't end it off with the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Mass Edition signed by Eiji Ainuma. Great piece that I'm proud to have here. Talking about the consoles you cannot forget about the game. This is where I keep some of the big box versions of the games that I have a limited edition for the Wii U and 3DS such as the Super Smash Bros for the Wii U Mega Man Legacy Collection for the Nintendo 3DS, Yoshi's Woolly World for the Wii U with its cute Yoshi Amiibo, the Wind Waker HD bundle with the Ganondorf figure looking badass as one of my favorites, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess with the Wolf Link Amiibo, and you cannot forget about the Wii U games. They're such fantastic games that you can also play anytime, like Pikmin 3, Nintendo Land, Super Mario, Bro Super Mario World, 3D World, and of course, you cannot forget the Legend of Zelda very represented well. Breath of the Wild is on the system. Thinking about Breath of the Wild, the Nintendo Switch is a fantastic system that I'm looking forward to adding more to the collection. Nintendo portables are well represented in the collection, ranging from the original Game Boy that I first held my hands on when I was a child, and then it comes the Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance, and then the Game Boy Advance SP with its front lit display, first time in history, and then of course moving on to the Nintendo DS Lite, and also the Nintendo DS Lite with the Zelda Phantom Hourglass Special Edition that is a wonderful mention of the collection that I love to this day that I had way back. And of course, moving on to Nintendo DSi XL, I also have the 25th anniversary represented here, and including the original launch version of the Nintendo 3DS Aqua Blue that I remember waiting in line for. One of the greatest pieces of the Nintendo 3DS line that I have is the Zelda 25th anniversary of the Nintendo 3DS with the great look of the system with Ocarina of Time. And also, lasting here is the Nintendo 3DS XL, a link between worlds also in the collection. Continuing with the Nintendo 3DS XL lineup system, we have Mario, Luigi, and Yoshi represented. On the long side, we also have a really cool NES retro theme style one with a blue and red Super Smash Bros. style system. Um, moving on to the new Nintendo 3DS, we have Animal Crossing, Pokemon, and a black and white Super Mario Bros. theme one. On to the new Nintendo 3DS XL, we have the really sweet Hyrule, Majora's Mask, Fire Emblem, Pokemon, and a really cute Pikachu version to end it off. So this is where I keep the big box limited editions for the Nintendo 3DS and one notable feature is the Zelda Majora's Mask Skull Kid a figure that I have in this big box that looks some cool. I have also literature. You can't have a game room without books that you can read, uh, strategies, art books, and the history, the history of video games of like Nintendo and Nintendo 64 that I can just pick up and read as I you know, want to entertain myself in a different way. And of course I have these controllers of the Nintendo Entertainment System readily available to play including the Zapper and the wide range of NES games that I can just pick up and play. All my favorite classics are represented here. And if I want, if I'm in the mood, I can also play the Sony games that are available right here.
Besides Amiibos, I also collect other figures in Nintendo's franchises. Notable here is The Legend of Zelda with that real action hero of Link from Skyward Sword. Really breathtaking, life size, really big. And also this cool, sexy looking Zero Suit Samus, looking very sleek, love it. And also the Figmas of Samus herself and Lucina from Fire Emblem. Now moving on to the more cute characters and cute and in very small collectible forms are these figures from the Nendoroid of uh, Legend of Zelda. And also what I love is the Majora's Mask looking really, really slick. Not very common that I've seen. And of course Kirby, Mega Man, Mario and Luigi are also shown here that you can customize it in any way you can like your to your imagination and these here are the uh, smaller version of Medicon figure looking really cool ranging from retro to modern and going towards the bottom are the more club Nintendo items that I cherish is unfortunately no longer exist but these are the items that I collected from entering my points from back in the day and ending it off here are some of the bobbleheads from Mario and Luigi and Star Fox Zero figure looking really cool. At the center of Nintendo Cake Game Room, this is where all the fun happens. This is where I can just get up and play any game I want of all my childhood system, including the Nintendo Switch, the NES Original, the Super Famicom, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, Nintendo GameCube, and the Nintendo Wii, and I also have a home theater setup for an awesome sound experience, a Nintendo Wii U, and ending off the Sony PlayStation 2. One of my fondest memories back in October 28, 2013 was meeting Nintendo of America President Reggie fils -Aimé. And I was very gracious of Nintendo to invite me to meet him himself. And this is the memento of a frame that gave me with the hashtag I'm with Reggie. An actual picture of me right next to him as a great memory for me to put in Nintendo K Game Room for all to see. Meeting with Reggie fils -Aimé. I had his honor of signing one of my cherished pieces in my collection, which is the last issue of Nintendo Power. Along with that, I have other individuals from Nintendo signing it, such as the President of Europe, Shatoru Shibata, the uh, official translator of Shigeru Miyamoto, Bill Trinan, the actual voice of Mario himself, Charles Martinet, and ending it off with uh, Katsuya Iguchi, one of the original producers of the NES Mario Bros. games. Well, the biggest highlight of my entire glass cabinet here is this autograph by Shigeru Miyamoto Game Boy Advance SP, which is only limited to 30 in the world. Moving down, I have a very special piece of, of Charles Martinet signing the uh, uh, Super Mario Maker during E3, as well as uh, Shigeru Miyamoto signing the Super Mario 64 back in E3 of May 17, 2001, which is really great to see that you can just sign something on the fly, as well as the Game Boy Micro, and as well as Super Mario Bros. 3 signed by Don James, the original man who brought the NES into the North American market. Moving forward, we have the uh, Game & Watch multi-screen Donkey Kong, one of the oldest pieces in my collection, as well as two of the rarest pieces in my Wii U collection, which is Hyrule Warriors and the limited edition Mario Kart 8. And you can see these are big boxes that's only limited to the Nintendo World Store. Going forward, we have these concert soundtracks of these great uh, series of uh, from the Final Fantasy and Zelda in Distant Worlds Final Fantasy. I have the legendary Nobuo Uematsu signing it along with the posers there. Um, uh, the Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses, Jeremy Moore, the producer of that concert series, and the conductor, Amy Anderson, lovely woman, very great person, and I met her in person to have her sign. Moving down, I have one of the oldest autograph pieces in my collection, which is Hideo Kojima of Metal Gear Solid 4, as well as the producer of Bravely Second and layer. Now that you have seen every part of Nintendo K Prime, I'm going to give you a really good look all around 360 of the entire room. Hope you guys enjoy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of the new Nintendo K game room. It was a lot of in the process of making it. I would I'd like to thank Evelyn for helping me go through the entire process and hope you guys see the results that all this time has been taking to get it to be in this form. So please leave me down below in the comments what you think of my big new Nintendo K game room. I'm certainly excited to be in it. 
and to play the various new games that's coming out and also cherish the old retro games as well so I appreciate what you have to say so give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode subscribe to the channel kid I've helped out a lot and I'll catch you again in the next episode